Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, or whatever day it is of the week for you. But to, to me, right now, as I'm speaking, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Every Actually, every day should be a happy day. But, you know, Friday is always a special day for most people because they don't have to work on the Sabbath day. You know, and if you all happen to work on the Sabbath day, pray about it. Keep praying on it. Got to fix it. Got to make it so you don't have to. Give it time. No, you ain't got to go to your boss, man, and try to chew him out. You know, just pray about it. God will put you in a profession that when you don't have to work the Sabbath all the time. Because you got to think about it, how Jesus explained the Sabbath. If your brother or sister needs help on the Sabbath day, what do you do? So you got to think about it. He's not saying you don't have to assist anyone. But you think about labor. And sometimes you may still have to. But God knows. But if you ain't off on the Sabbath, keep praying about it. Keep praying about it. God will make a way. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You know, it's, it's weird, like Fridays are most of the time one of the most tempting days for everybody because you get a little money in your pocket. You know, most people get paid on Fridays. So most of the time we got to want to do something that we shouldn't do. That's why you need to pray constantly. You know, ask God to teach you how to manage your funds, teach you where to go, teach you how to spend it, what to do. You know, the basics. Develop that personal relationship with God. Let's go to Proverbs 28, people. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Think about that. The more wickedness you do, you ever watch uh, mob movies and stuff like that? People that kill people and they got to pay for bodyguards. They got to do this, do that. They always paranoid. Well, you think why? You know you did something evil. You know you're going to be paranoid if you did something evil. They say you slept with somebody's wife or husband. Yeah. You worried about that, ain't it? You <laughs> Lord, forgive me. For the transgressions of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. Now think about it. If you got a righteous king that knows the Lord, that area, that nation, is going to do pretty good. Same with bosses, your workplace, your household, your church, wherever. A poor man that oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. Now, people are blesses the poor. But he look, look what he's saying here. A poor man that oppresses the poor. And you see it all the time in the neighborhoods and this and that. People take advantage of other people. God looks at that like horrible. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. You see it all the time, people. And TV, television, all that. People who play say they love God, like Taylor Swift. Oh, man, she's been popping up on my mind so much lately. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Please touch her soul. Let's take, take pet Taylor Swift. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. But I endorse LGBTQ. What? They that forsake the law praise the wicked. Mm -hmm. Think about it now. And that goes for any such thing. I love God, but I love murderers. Murderers are the best thing smoking. But such as keep the law, contend with them. You're not going to be comfortable with that. You're not going to praise that. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Why? Think about that. Let's, let's meditate on that for a second. I mean, I'm trying to sneeze right quick. It ain't coming. Excuse me. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Think about it. It's not that they understand anything. They're seeking the Lord who, who knows all. <laughs> Do you understand? Better is the poor that walketh in up his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men, same for his father. Now you're going to see something, a pattern. 
This one says, he that keep companion with riotous men, same as his father. Now watch, you'll see later something else similar to that. He that by usury and unjust gain increases his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. So think about it. God wants you to have just gain. He don't want you to make money off of taking advantage of people or using people. For all you gangsters, thugs, thieves, killers. Oh, yeah. Praise it all you want. Think about that now. And then you'll, you'll hear these rap songs. Yeah, I, I'm robbing folks. I'm sleeping with other people, women. But I know God's got me. Oh, really? Yeah, God got you. You read the Bible. What he got for the wicked. <laughs> He that turneth his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Let's say that again. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. If his prayer is an abomination, that means God most likely ain't listening to it. <laughs> Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. Be careful how you lead people now. Let's say one of your best friends come to you. Hey, man, you know, I met this woman, man. And, you know, she's... She's married. I like her, though. And she having problems with her husband. Man, you know what? Don't worry about it. Somebody's going to do it. If you don't do it, somebody else got to do it. Mm. I'm just giving you some examples here. Mm. Yeah. That's causing a, somebody to strain. He shall fall himself to his own pit. But the upright shall have good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit. But the poor that have understanding search of him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that covers his sins shall not prosper. Did, did you hear that? He that covers his sins shall not prosper. There's a lot of y'all trying to cover y'all's sin. Oh, no, the Lord don't see. Yeah, he see it. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Happy is the man that feareth always. Happy is the man that feareth some days. Happy is the man that feareth on Sundays. No, happy is the man that feareth always, feareth who? The Lord. But he that hardeneth his heart shall find fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is the wicked ruler over the poor people. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor. But he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. That's one of the commandments. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit. Let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. Hmm? But he that is perverse in his way shall fall at once. This is so straight explanatory. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread. But he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. Hmm? That's self explanatory. I don't even got to explain that. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. But he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Hmm. What does that mean? Think about it. Somebody that's, that's, that's their main focus to be rich. Don't tell them what they'll do to get them. They'll even sell their soul for rock and roll. <laughs> to have respect the persons is not good. For for a piece of bread, that man will transgress. Wow. He that hasten to be rich have an evil eye. That's why the Bible says, seek not, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all else will be added to you. But you got these churches out there, you got these pastors out there. God want to make you rich. You need to be praying for it. Oh, no, no, shut, shut up. Stop misleading folks. He that hasten to be rich have an evil eye and consider not that poverty shall come upon him. He that rebuke of a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattered with the term. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith it is no transgression, the same is the companion of the destroyer. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Let's say that again. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Can I say that one more time? He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. I was talking to somebody probably a few months ago. Like, I don't trust myself. They were like, I trust myself. Oh, really? You do? You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't even trust your own self. He that trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. What do you mean by walking wisely? Walking in the ways of the Lord. Walking with his guidance and his leadership. 
He that giveth to the poor shall have no lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have a man and many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Let's read over to 29. He that being often reproved, hardening his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. You see, the thing is, if God keeps trying to correct you, keeps trying to correct you, keeps trying to correct you, you don't listen, your heart is getting harder and harder. And you're going to fall by your own heart. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. I don't, don't want to say this, but poor Joe Biden, God bless his heart. Whoso loveth wisdom, rejoiceth his father. But he that keepeth company with heartless, spendeth his substance. Sound familiar? I just read that. Hmm. Whoso loveth wisdom, rejoices his father. But he that keepeth company with harlots, spendeth his substance. And I read the one about keeping company with riotous men. Mm -hmm. So God got a warning for men and women. Mm -hmm. What to look after for, who not to hang with, who to hang with. And people are like, I don't know nothing. Well, you ain't reading. The king by judgment established the land, but he that received gifts overthroweth it. Hmm. You see it all the time. Politicians and senators and councilmen taking bribes from people to distort judgment. <laughs> a man that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. What do you mean by flatter of his labor? Flatter is like a lying type thing. You know, in the word they call it something else. Can I say it without somebody chewing me out? A butt kisser? <laughs> Nobody likes that. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare, but the righteous do sing and rejoice. The righteous consider the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. They turn the blind. They see a poor person try to walk all the way across the street like in the Bible. A priest passed by. He passed by. He walked across the street, but the good Samaritan showed mercy on the man that was robbed and beaten. <laughs> Scorn for mill bring men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. Hmm. Hmm. If a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty haste the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it till afterward. That means he says, be swift to hear, slow to speak. Hear the whole conclusion of a matter. I was watching a video the other day, yesterday, and a woman was talking about to another woman, and she was like, aren't you a musician? She's like, no, I'm not a musician. She's like, I'm, I'm not, I don't do that stuff. I don't do that magic and stuff. She's like, aren't you a, and then she just kept arguing with the lady. The lady said, musician, clear as day. But she wouldn't hear it no matter what. I'm not that. She's like, you make music? Yeah. So you're a musician? No, I'm no musician. There's some foolish people in this world. A fool utter of all his mind, <laughs> but a wise man keepeth it to the afterwards. Hear, listen. You know, you try to talk to somebody, they always cutting you off, and you never, they never even hear the full conclusion of the matter. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. Mm, be careful who you got around you, your counselors. Horrible comforters are you all. The poor and the deceitful man meet together, the Lord lighten of both their eyes. The king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and proof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringing his mother to shame. Train the child in the way he go. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. Look at Alabama. I mean, not Alabama, but United States. Let's say that again. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. But the righteous shall see their fall. It don't matter what the rest of the world are doing. They want to encourage evil matters, encourage abortion, and all that. Now they is, they day is coming if they don't change not. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yeah, he shall give the light into thy soul. A lot of a lot of parents these days are stressed out right now because they don't correct their kids. Then as soon as somebody else come and say, you know your son stole something. My son ain't like that. Whatever. Get on somewhere. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keep of the law, happy is he. Mm. A servant will not be corrected by words. For though he understand, he will not answer. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope for a fool than him. 
I cited that already. Slow to speak. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child shall have him become his son at the length. I mean, treat your employees with respect. An angry man stir up strife, and a furious man a bound in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall be, shall uphold the humble in spirit. Whoso if partnered with a thief hate of his own soul. God tell you what type of people to hang with. He hear of cursing and bereareth it not. The fear of man bringeth a snare. That's why God said, fear not man. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Let's say that again. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment comes from the Lord. What he said, promotion comes from the Lord. He rises, went up, and set up, went down. Yes, he said, you're supposed to honor your masters. Should I say bosses? You're supposed to respect them to the shrewd and to the just. You're still supposed to respect them no matter what. Why? Because it's going to benefit you. You're not being a people pleaser. God gave you commandment to do it. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. Let's read this again. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. That's scary, ain't it? So you do right and people hate you for it. And think you're abominable. He that has left off to do good. Let him call on the Lord since he delighteth in him. That's a song. He has left off to do good. Hmm. Ain't that's amazing, people. You won't understand it. It's right here. Right there for everybody to read. When I first started reading the Bible, man, when I, when I read Proverbs, I was like, well, I heard all these sayings before. But they went to get reverence in the Lord in regards to them. I saw, I saw Bruce Lee post something. I mean, not Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee ain't post nothing. <laughs> but Bruce Lee said something, right? And people are like, he's right about that. I know you, because he got it right from the Bible. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of folks that take God's words and utilize them for themselves, quotes and stuff. If you read Proverbs, you'll be surprised how many quotes and sayings that people have stolen from God and try to accredit to themselves. That's ridiculous. They don't even want to lead people to God. That's one of the first things I start realizing. I'm like, I heard, I heard that saying. So many times in my life. Mm, this is where they get it from. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. But if you want understanding people, it's there. You want wisdom, it's there. God will tell you exactly how to act, how to behave, what to look out for, who to look out for, why look out for them. But he said a companion of thieves. Be not be a companion of thieves. But if my cousin. I love them, and move yourself far from them. How many people you know been in the wrong place at the wrong time, in the wrong car? And like, I didn't know they was gonna do that. You know they raw folks. <laughs> you didn't know they were thieves. You didn't know, look, think about it, they might have robbed somebody the day before, and you riding around with them. Yeah, boy, we gonna have a good time today. He done told you you robbed somebody the other day. Then you pull up right through the hood and your, the whole car gets shot up and you perish with them. Or not even that. You might perish and they may live. <laughs> That's why you got to be careful of the company you keep. He said, don't keep a, keep company with riotous men. And don't keep company with harlots. That seemed like what every rap song is about right now. <laughs> Whoredoms. Mm. All y'all women like to shake y'all bodies and stuff. You look like a harlot. That's what you look like. I ain't saying there's something wrong with dancing. You can, you can dance how you want with your husband. <laughs> In the sanctity of your home. You understand? But think about a club. I used to go to clubs all the time. Everybody in the club ain't harlots. But look around. Everybody dancing like harlots, even me. Shake that, shake that. Oh, yeah. You remember them things? <laughs> I ain't saying I don't dance. Me and my wife love to dance. We do. 
And I ain't gonna lie to you, when we go to parties, it's been a while, when we go, we always seem like to be, people call us for that simple purpose. But I'm trying to distance myself from that. We both like to dance, it don't matter where it's at, you know what I'm saying? Because I might set, we might set the wrong example to other Christians. Like I saw people getting, making fun of, or getting mad at, uh, what his name is, Kirk Franklin for dancing a certain type of way. The fact of the matter, he was dancing that certain type of way with somebody that other than his wife. You know what I'm saying? And we got to be careful as, that, as we change as Christians. You know, like I said, I love to dance. And I ain't going to lie to you, I grew up in the, the 90s when we had like uh, a lot of dance music back in that thing up type stuff. You know, it's in me. You know, and I do it a lot at home, you know, uh, with my wife and stuff when we chilling. And we might get up and dance somewhere. But it, God convicts me, though. When we used to go out and go to parties and we the party starters and everybody eyes because you got to think about it Somebody may be lusting over my wife or be lusting over me. So you got to be careful even how you dance mm -hmm. Let me pause now. We'll continue people